Hey Royals, I just produced another clutch of beautiful pies and I want to share the egg cutting experience with you so stay tuned. This clutch is a bit sentimental to me because I no longer have the mom. Um, although I do have her daughters and several nieces, um, I no longer have the mom to this. The other reason it's sentimental is because this is the exact same pairing that allowed me to prove out the mom and the dad to be het for hypo. So here we have a coral glow pied het for hypo to a Enchi pied het for hypo. And as you can see, I only got four eggs. Um, she did lay other eggs, but they just weren't any any good. So we only ended up with four. Um, you can see three of them have already made their slits. And earlier I saw a couple noses that, that I think were coral glow, but we'll find out for sure right now. So we'll go ahead and start cutting these. Wow, this one is really full here. So what I'm looking for are obviously more hypo pides. And if they don't have coral glow, then it's a female. If it does have coral glow, then it's most likely a male because the dad that sired this clutch is a male maker. So that is definitely coral glow. Um, it's gonna be hard to see if it's hypo or not. We'll have to do a little bit of a testing by looking at the sheds. Um, and the way I do it is I just Wait until they develop some black dots, which is what happens as the coral glow and banana ages. Um, so they'll develop some black dots and then when they're right about ready to shed, I'll keep track of that black dot and then once the shed comes off, I'll look at that shed to see if that black dot transferred onto the shed. Um, because if it did, then it's not a hypo. Uh, if it didn't transfer, it is a hypo because all hypo sheds come out, come out clear, just like an albino. So none of the black pigments actually transfer onto the shed uh, in the case of a hypo. All right, so we have our first coral glow pied, and that is 66% hypo or visual hypo. So now we have our second one, and it looks like we have another coral glow. That is pretty neat. So we got our second coral glow. This one seems to have a little bit more white. This one has a little bit of white banding. You can see there, it's trying to connect over the dorsal. But yeah, this one definitely has more white. All right, so cool. We got two coral glows. Uh, let's go with the third one that already sliced its way out. So let's see what we have here. Oh, this one doesn't appear to be coral glow, but is it a hypo? Oh, wow. So it's not coral glow. I totally forgot about the Enchi guys. So this is a Enchi pied 66% head for hypo. Wow, this one is so bright. It's so much like the mom. The mom was extremely bright for an Enchi. Um, and I suspect that the mom may have something else in her as well. So same, same goes for her sister, or in this case, this one's aunt. Uh, and this one not being a coral glow means that it's female. So I think I will hold this one back just to see what happens. So we have this female Enchi Pied, 66% Het for Hypo. And like I said, it's kind of sentimental to me. So I think holding that one back makes sense. All right, last egg, number four. Is it another coral glow? So you can see there's a little bit of red. So those are the veins. Um, and and the, the veins don't hurt the baby at all if, as we cut through the egg. Uh, there's no nerve endings in there. And based on the progress and development of the other three, I would say that this one is probably ready to come out on its own in just a matter of a couple hours. And that looks like another coral glow. Oh, there's its head. <laughs> there's its head. 
Take in his breath for the very first time. Isn't that cool? And let's see. This one, I actually don't see an egg tooth. Oh, I see it. It's really tiny right there. I was gonna say, you know, if we didn't cut this one open, I was gonna say we've, we we saved his life, but he has an egg tooth, so he's okay. He could have he could have sliced that on his own. But yeah, we get to see him a little bit earlier. So we got three coral glows. Um, pretty good chance that at least one of them would be hypo. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna keep any of them because I have, I guess their their brother. Yeah. So their brother from a couple years ago. Um, you know, I, I tested the brother out with the same, you know, marking the mar marking of the shed and everything, and the brother tested out to be coral glow hypopied. So these three will probably be made available, although I'll just wait a little bit until I can test that whether they're hypo or 66% hept. So these are going to go back in the incubator, and I'll give you guys an update once they crawl out of their eggs. So let's quickly do a, a update as now they are all out of their eggs. And you can see these are a couple of the coral globe pies. And like I said before, they're either visual hypo or 66% het for hypo. And just look at how different these two are. Uh, this one is obviously high pattern, low white. And you can see that there's a lot of purples. I think uh, some of that purple, like the light color purple, are going to turn a bright yellow orange, like over here. And then you'll have the deeper purple remain pretty much where they are. But you can see that it's got a lot of purple, a lot of pattern, and just a little bit of white to offer that bit of contrast. And then you have over here something that's more, I would say maybe 50 50, you know, 40 60. They are very squirmy like this one right here but look how light in color it is so there's a chance that this one could be the hypo just because it's much lighter the, the pattern areas are much lighter than that one so this is a good chance that this one could be hypo now let me go ahead and get the other coral go pied out so right here we have our third one and i have two guesses as to what this could be um, obviously it's coral glow pied and I'm also banking on this one being either a visual hypo or it could be an enchi because look at how wide the eye bands are. Um, you can see that the one on that side is connecting to the next stripe. And then it's got like these blocky patterns like right there. You see there's a block right there, a block right there. This one, it's got like a block in the middle. And then over here we have like this emoji, but also you could kind of imagine there's a block right there so it's kind of blocky um, and it's very light as well so this could be uh, enchi coral glow pied or coral glow pied hypo now there's one more and you guys all know that there is a female in this clutch um, but just remember these blocky pattern and then i'll bring out the female right now look at this beautiful enchi Hide. and you can see it's got these blocky patterns as well it's got the thick eye bands and this one does have connected eye bands to the neck on both sides whereas that last coral glow pied only has connected on one side and there's a faint connection on the other side so yeah that's what this is this is what i'm kind of comparing um between this one and the last one and that's why i think the last one has a good possibility of being an enchi but yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful Enchi Pied. 66% um, head for Hypo. This girl is gonna probably grow up and just replace the mom. I know that wasn't a big clutch, but who doesn't love cutting a clutch of pies, especially when there's codoms in every single one of those babies. That about wraps it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel and you wanna be informed of future uploads, make sure you're subscribed and ring that notification bell. As always, thanks for watching. Please share and remember, rules for life. Peace out.